Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gatta. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the JGIP compression and how we can implement the JGIP compression in a Spring Boot application. Everything we are going to discuss in this video. I am going to divide this video in two parts. The first one will be the basic discussion about the JGIP compression. What is JGIP compression and what are its benefits and drawbacks and how we can implement it out what are the technology that it uses to do the compression everything we are going to discuss in the in this video which is the first part of the video and on the second one what we'll do we'll try to create a spring boot application and practically we'll try to see how we can implement the jgp in the spring boot application in the form of rest api so let's get started for that and let me try to go to the next slide to discuss about what is jgp compression so what is jgp compression JGIP compression is a method used to reduce the size of the files or the data by compressing them into the smaller packages. So it is nothing but it is a kind of practice or you can say the method to reduce the size of the files or the data by compressing them into the smaller packages. It widely used on the internet to reduce the amount of data that need to be transferred between the server and the client thereby improving the website loading time and reducing the bandwidth uses so these are the benefit of uh, jgip compression it help us in improving the website loading and reducing the bandwidth uses now let me try to go to the next slide and show you how it works and which technology the jgip compression uses okay so jgip compression uses the deflet algorithm to compress the files what is deflet algorithm it replaces repetitive string of data with the references making the data more compact for instance if there is a long string of repetitive characters or the patterns jgip replaces those pattern with the shorter representations reducing the overall size of the data okay so this is how the jgip uh, uses the deflet algorithm to do the compression and in the deflet algorithm what happens is if there is a long string of repetitive characters or the patterns then it replaces those pattern with a shorter representation reducing the overall size of the data okay so the jgip uses the deflet algorithm to do the compression apart from deflet algorithm there are other techniques like lz77 and lz78 now coming to the next uh, topic jgip also help us in doing the http compression okay so let's say if you want to uh, send some details or the response from the server to the client and the size of the data that you are sending from the server to the client is a large uh, like large amount of the data you are sending so you can do the compression before sending the data from the server to the client and that help us in reducing the response time as well as the bandwidth okay so on the web the jgip compression is commonly used in the http request and the responses when a client like a browser request a web page from the server it can indicate that it understand jgip compression if the server support it and the client request a compressed version of the content the server can compress the requested data html css javascript or any data that the server is sending into the jgip format before sending it back the client then decompresses the content before rendering it out okay so let's say the client is asking for some data which is a large amount of data from the server and client is also sending one indication into the header that uh, i need the data in the jgip compression format then when the server will get that request from the client what it will do it will pick out the data compress it out in the jgip and then send it back to the client once the client receive the data it will decompress using the jgip decompression so this is how the jgip help us uh, now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the benefit of the jgip compression so jgip compression significantly reduces the amount of data transferred over the network a smaller file sizes means faster download times which lead to the quicker website loading better user experience and reduced bandwidth consumption especially on the slower internet connection of the mobile networks so these are the benefit of the jgip it help us in uh, like quickly loading the website and uh, reducing the bandwidth 
response time is also decreased so these are the benefit of doing the JGIP compression coming to implementation JGIP compression can be implemented at different levels such as server level configured by the web servers like Apache, NJX, NJ, Enix or within the application most modern web browsers and the server support JGIP compression so what we are going to do in the next video is uh, we are going to create a Spring Boot application and uh, we'll try to develop one REST API to insert the data into the database and there we'll try to apply the JGIP to see how it reduces the uh, amount of the like how it reduces the size of the data that we are getting from the database and sending it to the client so those things we'll see and uh, yeah uh, so these are the implementation of the JGIP compression most of the web browsers uh, like they allow us to do the JGIP compression now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the drawbacks of the JGIP compression while JGIP compression offers significant benefit it also requires computational resources to compress and decompress the data so you have to additionally write the code to compress and decompress the data when you are doing the JGIP compression very small files or already compressed files like the images or the videos in the certain format might not benefit much or might even increase in the size when compressed with the JGIP so these are some drawbacks of the JGIP now let me try to summarize the whole thing so overall JGIP compression is widely used and effective method for the reducing file sizes improving web performance and optimizing the data transfer over the internet so basically uh, a lot of uh, applications or the project uses the JGIP compression to transfer the data from server to the client okay so how we can do that uh, we'll see that okay so in our case uh, we'll try to create one Spring Boot application and we'll create one post API and in the post API whatever data we are getting we'll try to compress it out with the JGIP compression and send back to the client and the client that we are going to use here is the postman so everything will see how uh, how the size of the data drastically decreased when we are applying the JGIP compression and how it is uh, like how, how without doing the JGIP compression what are the size of the data we'll see everything there in the second video in the implementation video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks